1943, a very special vehicle was developed by the Imperial Japanese Navy to give it a submarine to shore capability. At the end of 1942, Japanese strategists faced the need to urgently give an answer to the American unlimited submarine warfare in the Pacific Ocean. A special case of its consequences was that the Japanese fleet could not ensure the transfer of supply transports to the island garrisons. American submarines and partly aviation made it either very difficult or nearly impossible. This problem was especially pronounced during the battles for the Solomon Islands. The Japanese had their own submarines and had them in considerable numbers. Therefore, the solution was immediately obvious – to use the submarines as a transport rather than a military weapon. There was, however, another problem – the process of unloading. The submarine is quite seriously vulnerable when it is above water and in drift. And it takes a lot of time to unload the delivered property. The submarine is not a steamer. Everything must be carried with hands through the hatches. At that moment, somewhere in Japan, someone again showed the ability for simple, logical thinking. The solution required the presence of a boat on board the submarine, on which you can reach the coast. But a boat might be unable to land on the beach due to the combination of terrain and currents. And the shore is also vulnerable. The cargo should not be unloaded on the shore, but not stopping to transport deep into the territory. The ideal solution is a caterpillar cross-country vehicle capable of getting ashore on soft ground or through sand deposits, small rock heaps, steep climbs and immediately leave the cargo from the open shore. This solution was also suitable for moving from island to island. It is also necessary to make sure that this car craft can be carried on submarines. So a kind of unique model of military equipment was born, a large capacity tracked transporter delivered underwater to deliver goods from a submarine to the shore. The Imperial Japanese Navy commenced an amphibious tractor program in 1943 as the Type 4 Katsu. Introduced in 1944, it was a 16-ton vehicle that could carry up to 40 troops or 4 tons of cargo plus a crew of 5. Access to the cargo area was via 6 hatches in the top deck, so it was unable to carry vehicles or large artillery pieces. It was armed with two pedestal-mounted 13mm machine guns. Propulsion in the water was via true propellers, which gave it a top speed of 5 knots. It was a vehicle whose character was largely different from that of other floating tanks developed by the Japanese Navy and is not a so-called amphibious tank but is developed mainly for the transportation of personnel and supplies in island areas. Since the vehicle was originally developed for transportation, armor defense ability was poor compared with other floating tanks developed for combat. Even at the front of the vehicle, the armor thickness was only 10 mm, and because the vehicle body was made of mild steel instead of bulletproof steel, even bullets could easily be penetrated. 
by the time development had been completed, it was proposed that the katsu should be used in another, more offensive role. It should be used to attack anchored US battleships, which could not be attacked using conventional means. It was proposed that a katsu armed with a pair of torpedoes be dropped off by a submarine away from the atoll, proper itself to the outer reef using its tracks, and then enter the lagoon on the inside of the reef. Tests were successfully carried out with a modified katsu carrying two torpedoes on its deck, but the war ended before any such mission could be mounted on the katsu deployed in combat. It was said that the katsu was able to launch the torpedoes without problems in the launch test. Altogether, 49 Type 4 katsus were produced during the war and only one has survived. Until a few years ago it was on display as part the amphibious tractor collection at Camp Pendleton, California. It was stored in the open air at the Marine Corps Logistics Base in California. But it does not appear to have been modified to carry torpedoes. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.